you, dear reader, are not simply a haphazard collection of organic materials and minerals chanced upon by fate, oh no. The simmering cauldron of life bubbling inside you offers more complexity than a hundred season-long soap operas. The rapid ebb and flow of electrical impulses through the Einsteinian labyrinth of neurological pathways in your brain alone would leave the most renowned scientists scratching their heads. Now consider this, is all of this merely a case of biology and physics playing out a well-rehearsed ballet, or is there more on the stage? Ah, you might say, this is another one of those mind-over-matter epiphanies. Is the writer going to play the spiritual card now? That's where the plot takes an unexpected turn, my friend. We are not straying into the cryptic land of ancient mantras and rituals. Instead, we are going to tread lightly on the periphery of modern science proudly standing on the fringe where spirituality merrily whistles. I believe science and spirituality are more alike than we think, both fascinating sides of the same coin, eager for an elusive rendezvous. It's time to weave their stories together, so settle in dear reader, you're in for a treat. We're a clever bunch, we humans, always hell-bent on seeking answers in cyberspace, in knitting circles, or in the murky depth of a quarter-life crisis, I still have my snorkel from the last excursion. We live in the shadow of questions that go beyond our understanding, who am I, really? What's my purpose? How do I become a millionaire without the bother of getting out of bed? Now imagine a bridge, long, winding, and ambitious, connecting science with spirituality. At one end, patrons of logic and evidence wear starched coats, furrowed brows filled with equations, awaiting the first steps of understanding. At the opposite hand, residents of belief and insight deliver known smiles, inviting acceptance of all things unseen. Could these two disparate crowds ever meet in the middle of our metaphorical bridge? Science tiptoes in, not with a band of trumpets but as whispers in our ears atoms, energy, and frequency. Dig beneath the surface of your body, metaphorically, please, and you'll see it for yourself. You are merely atoms vibrating at a certain frequency, mingling with other atoms to create the wonder of you. Now, park this thought on a side and let's delve into the realm of spirituality. It asserts that thoughts, desires, fear, dreams all emit vibrations attracting similar vibrations, our reality, shaped by our own baton of thought frequency, is this not quite akin to our vibrating atoms? Invest rigor and scrutiny into this dance and one cannot ignore the dizzying array of links. The Upanishads, ancient spiritual texts, revealed centuries ago that as you think, so you become. The scientific field of neuroplasticity echoes this sentiment. Continual thoughts pave the grooves in the brain, changing you physically and mentally. Imagine. Your miserable tendencies aren't set in stone, realize that you can change your mind, and you quite literally change your brain. These similarities also shimmer in the world of finance. You've heard the saying money doesn't grow on trees, well news flash, it grows in the mind. Your financial well-being is a reflection of your inner beliefs and behavior about money. Think Scrooge, holding on to every penny, and then think Tony Stark, innovating and creating wealth. Financial gurus have been serenading us with this song forever think richer, be richer. It's the law of attraction, cloaked as financial advice. Change your thoughts, and you change your world, said Norman Vincent Peale. It's not just a quote on a kitschy pillow but a powerful revelation with science backing it like an eager understudy. Pin these thoughts in the annals of your mind, let them simmer, and soon you'll see the bridge of science leading to the house of spirituality. The fear of unknown, insecurities of finance, life's meaning, all gargantuan issues prowling around us. But understanding the science behind spirituality equips us to handle them without pulling our hair out. So, dear reader, tug dear old science by the sleeve, lead him gently towards the enchanting realm of spirituality. They are not mortal enemies but star-crossed friends eagerly waiting to sink their heartbeats. Shatter the illusion of their separation, unlock the door to a treasure trove of understanding and bathe in the light of their union. Trust that the poetry of spirituality can be sung on the notes of science. After all, life is but a gloriously complex dance of atoms and thoughts, science and spirituality, where every step and every beat converge to compose the exquisite symphony of existence.